In this video, we're just going to look at the GeoDirectory version 2 beta page templates. Um, first of all, you set the pages that you're going to use under pages, and then there's three page templates. You've got your details page, which is your single listing page, your archive page, which is like your custom post types, your categories, your tags, um, then you've got your archive page item, which is the individual item on the archive page. Uh, then we just go to pages. You've also got your ad listing page and things like that, but the, these are more template pages that we're talking of. So let's look at the archive, GD archive template. You can see just now it's short codes. You've got the, let's go to that actual page. You've got the GD search short code, which is the search here. Then you've got the loop actions, which is your different, you've got your search filters if when they're implemented and then your different grid views. And uh, then you've got your loop, which is like the WordPress loop. It just loops through the different posts. And then you've got your loop paging. So uh, on this category, we don't have any paging. So let's go to places, which should have some. And you've got page one, two, and three. So for example, if we wanted to have paging up the top as well, uh, See just before the loop, we could just enter that there, update the template, refresh the page. Now you've got paging up the top as well. Now, I uh, you can enter any sort of text you want here, any other short codes, um, basically anything. It's pretty easy to. Uh, text you to enter the information you want to in change the templates now in version 2 which it wasn't in version 1 when the Gutenberg editor comes out you'll be able to edit these with the Gutenberg editor um, let's go to the archive item it's just the individual items you can see this is lots of different short codes here. Um, let's just go through what they are one by one. So you've got the archive item section. This is opening the left section. Then there should be a closing one. That's the closing, the closing one. Opening one for the right hand side and the closing one for the right hand side. Basically, this is the diff this is the left hand side is the image and the contact form and the right hand side is all this other info. Um, you've got your page title here. You can move things wherever you want. So we've got a ninja form contact button here. Uh, if we remove that and then update, then I'll remove this button when we refresh. It's gone. Now just now these images are just linking directly to the post, but there's you can have lots of different features there, so let's run through a few of them. You can simply update it directly by changing the shortcode settings, or you could just delete it and click this our button here, which will insert the shortcode. So let's go to images. We want a slider, some advanced settings. We can go to by Ajax link to none. Actually, let's link it to Lightbox image, insert short code, update. So now when we refresh here, we have, we can flip through the different uh, images for the listings. So it's auto scrolling just now, but you can stop that in the settings. And also now clicking on it will open up a lightbox. And if you have different 
titles and captions here, it'll, uh, it'll go in there. And you can flip between the different ones. If you don't want to have a scrolling gallery, let's just actually delete this and do it again. GD images, let's do a gallery linking to the light box. Insert short code, update, and refresh. Now just now it's you don't have the slider anymore. Uh, but if we click here and we've still got we can still flip through the gallery. And these are all Ajax loaded, so there's no extra bandwidth for this. These are all sitting in the background loaded via Ajax. You can flip through all all the images here. Um, now these images are quite small resolution, but if you add a new image, it'll, it'll go in there. Not sure I have any images on this uh, computer. Um, you can basically add in any sort of short code item here. So let's you've got your well. You don't want to add in the search bars or anything like that here. Uh, we can add in a new feature, which is a GD badge. Uh, uh, let's say we want to go by post date. We'll add a new tag is equal to. Let's do it's greater than. I think it's plus seven. Insert short code, update places. Move. Now we've got a new tag here. So if it's if the uh, listing is less than seven days old, it'll show a new tag. Uh, you can also add different tags, so let's do add a new tag. Uh, post badge. Let's see. Um, I think everything is filled out with the demo data. So, for example, if you had a phone number, you just say is not empty. Uh, call me. Change the badge background. Say let's go green. Badge size. We can make it extra large. Insert short code. Save. Refresh. So now any listing with a phone number attached to it will have this badge. Obviously it's not the best uh, styling here but we can change the size of the buttons and things in there. Um, you can add them anywhere you want so if you wanted to add that phone number one, you want to move it below the title, uh, or let's say you even wanted to put it below the business hours. Now you've got that below the business hours. You still use the business hours there. Um, so possibilities are endless here. I'll do another video closer to the time, maybe in a couple of days actually, um, with Gutenberg visual editing. And we'll go through adding adding different sections in, in there as well. Uh, so we went through the archive, the archive item, uh, the details is the same. You've got your different images. So just now, if we go to Vidikin, this is just a slider. Um, you've got your photos down here. So if you wanted to make this a gallery, we would just change that type to gallery. We don't always have to use this button. If we know the settings, then we can just change it. Update it. 
refresh. Now we've got gallery items. But also if we want, we can just simply delete it and start again. GD images. We want a gallery. We want it to link to lightbox images loaded via Ajax. Insert, update. Did that update? And refresh. So now these uh, will automatically link to your lightbox. You can open it and close it. Um, another feature which is not really related to templates, but you've got your, your image titles and things here. So let's go edit this. Go to your images. So let's edit this. This is description. Space a few times. Set. Submit listing. So now if we go and go to the light box of this and hover over it, we've got the title here. And we've got the description. And I think that is enough for templates just now. I'll do a, an updated video uh, with Gutenberg as well. But just now we've got, you can add and edit anything, anything to do with the page templates. GeoDirectory version 2. Thanks.